Excel's functions and formulas. This is the life of Excel. This is where you have the monster laying on the slab, just a collection of body parts. And then you are the Dr. Frankenstein that raises it up and gets that electricity going through it and turns it into life. That's what you get when you have some facility with Excel's functions and formulas. So today we're going to talk about the difference between functions and formulas. First, let's just type some data into a cell. State and the number nine. That's just general data. But if we start an entry with an equal sign, that lets Excel know that we're getting ready for it to do some work. Let's get this out of here. So, equals nine. Now this is officially a formula, but now let's have Excel do some work. Equals nine plus three we're still doing a formula functions are when you have those letters in front of parentheses those are functions functions are programmed activities that excel is set to do we could put this nine plus three into a sum function let's do that equals sum nine comma three and notice underneath we get some little hints about how the function needs to be set up how we need to talk to excel in order to get it to act right for us sum is telling us number one and then no square brackets mean it's optional so we could sum a number one and that's it just one number is optional to put more so let's go ahead close the parentheses and press enter now we've got 12. can go back and take advantage of the option and then put uh eight comma negative two comma 4.88 22.88 what we have in cell d4 is a formula that has a sum function there are about 400 functions in excel and i was messing around today and found out that there's even a function called greatest common divisor Let's play with that one a little bit. Equals. Now notice. When I put that G in. Excel is giving me a list of functions that start with G. And also giving me some idea of what it does. So let's go to C. And okay, GCD returns the greatest common divisor. D. Open parentheses. Now let's put in some numbers, 3,000, 1290, and press enter. The greatest common divisor is 30 for those two numbers. I want to point out something that's terrible to do when you're working with Excel, and that's hard code numbers into a formula. So you saw what I did earlier when I typed the numbers directly into the function slash formula. You don't want to do that. Don't do that. Because the numbers are buried inside there. You can't see them because right now all I see is a 12. I don't know that that's adding nine and three 
or if that's just the 12 typed in, there could be anything there. But if I have a nine and a three, and then I go over here and equals sum, and then I highlight these two and press enter, I've got 12. And if something changes, if this goes to four, the formula makes the update. And we can see where this 13 came from. So I wanna have you go and watch the video I did on relative and absolute cell references. This is important. It explains the problem of making hard-coded numbers in formulas. It explains relative and absolute cell references. I'm gonna close this video by showing you a function that I'm surprised that I use so much. We think about if and sum and VLOOKUP, but I'm surprised at how much I use count A. So let's go to that example. Here we've got two columns of data, a list of people who were invited, and then a list of whether the people are saying they're coming or not coming. Now our question is, how many people have we heard from and how many people have we not? Right now, we don't care if they are a yes or a no. Maybe we wanna know who we gotta get in touch with to find out, okay, what's the deal? I'm gonna use equals count A. This is gonna count the number of non-empty cells. I like that. 18 were invited equals count a highlight enter we've heard from 10 Then we can just say, okay, how many people we need to contact equals F2 minus G2. So we've got to contact eight people to find out what's the deal. And now watch, if I say I contacted Fritz and Fritz is a yes. We've heard from 11 now, and seven still need to be contacted. So that is a very quick introduction to the difference between functions and formulas. This, again, this is the electricity. This is the blood that gets Excel going for you. Everything else is about efficiency. Next, we're going to go over some functions that are really important for you to know. All right. See you tomorrow.